Hi there, and welcome back to the Amazing Collection Unboxing. We are on box number 98, moving along. This box is very big. It is labeled Fest 2001 Plus. I'm presuming Briar Fest, and there's no shipping label on it, so uh, the collector probably attended and got someone to take it back for him. And there is a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's do this. We have some mint on card companion animals. This is the chocolate Labrador number 1514. We have a paddock pal, the Clydesdale Belgian on the yellow uh, card. And we have the Jack Russell Terrier, number 1505, companion animal on card. I love the companion animals. Um, we have lots of stuff. Let's take this. This is Valentino from Briar Fest, I'm assuming, 2001. The Rearing Silver in the Vintage Red Roan. If you're watching my other series, we talk about Red Roan. This was the one of the years, originally $50. Uh, this is the, to certify, oh, I was wrong. Strawberry Fields, a red roan bearing the item number 710303 and presented on mold number 574 is one of 1,250 made exclusively, oh, for Briar Fest 2003. He had a time travel machine. And he went to 2001 and he got models from 2003, so I am impressed. So this is the silver rearing mold in the vintage red roan color. They did, I think this is even prettier than the original vintage red roan color. Um, the vintage, original vintage red roan was base red with kind of white splatters. This is base red with red, dark red splatters. So they're small and large splatters. And it's really a striking color, particularly with the dark red mane and tail. So super nice. He'd look really good on a shelf um, with some of the vintage red roans. So moving on. We have lots of stuff. We have some pictures of some of the drafters. We have Briarfest 10th Anniversary Collection. Oh, let me let you see them. Greetings from Briarfest 10th Anniversary 1999. So this is just, I guess, lots of stuff from Briarfest. We have a pony pouch with Western motif with cowboys and giddy up roundups. We have the um, bolo tie designed by Bra Bob Scriver. I think he was a Native American for Briarfest 98, special reissue. Buffalo skull bolo tie sculpted by Bob Scriver. I wanted those for years. We have one of the little stable mate keychains. This is the trotting little pony in the glitter, uh, clear plastic with glitter. We have a very nice Bay G1 Morgan Stallion. And if you have one of Nancy's books, I would encourage you to read the history of the Morgan Stallion mold mark. Fascinating. It's one of those, here we have a chestnut, Morgan G1. Um, the mold mark is fascinating if you're into those details. Then we have a Andalusian Stablemate keychain. These were special runs that you could buy um, in wood grain. The packages aren't open, so I'm not gonna open them. So you must have bought these guys as a set, but this is the G2 uh, Mule in solid gold keychain, and then the G2 Clydesdale in wood grain. They were originally $14. I can't remember how many they made of them. The original time they made keychains was like 200, super popular. Then they made 500, super popular. Then they bumped up the numbers, I think, to like 1,000. And everybody went, mm, that's a little much. But I still love them just because they're very unusual, the colors that they picked, the glitter one and the solid gold. I love the keychains. 
Next, we have a non-briar uh, plastic horse and rider. I don't think this was Lido. I think this was a made in Hong Kong set a little later than the Lido horses. I'm not an expert on some of the other styrene kind of sets, but he looks to me like kind of a 1970s um, Hong Kong set. But a nice one, nicely painted. Oh, another silver mold. Are you gonna redeem me? Maybe this is Valentino. This is the silver mold with no other information. He originally sold for $55. He was one of the Briarfest special runs. And this guy is in, I was going to say he's wood grain, but he's not. He's um, just a glossy, super red bay. And he actually has uh, by eyes, but instead of the little white in the corner, he has a little pink over the top, which is more appropriate for a rearing model. Um, really nice, really nice color on him. I love this mold sculpted by Christina Lucas Francis and a really nice color. Um, lots of highlights between the light red and the dark red. No, no marks on him to give me any clues, but we'll say he's somewhere between maybe 2001, 2003. And he looks very nice next to Strawberry Fields. Um, Um, oh, we have a balking mule. This is from the Black Horse Ranch Special Runs. I think they made 500 of five different colors. And he has a tag, very nice. Black Horse Ranch Special Run Balking Mule. Originally, he bought them for not $65 purportedly. This is the Black Blanket Appaloosa. Um, like I said, there was four or five different colors. They made about 500 of each. They, they were quite exciting when they came out, but the mule mold isn't as collectible as some of the other molds, I guess. So over the years, he hasn't held his value super well, but I got him and I still like him a lot. Um, there's, there's all kinds of different stuff in this box. There's boxes and bags. This is um, the Briarfest Special Run Collie. I don't remember his name. I want to say Jester, but I could be wrong. Um, every year when they started doing these, he was originally $40. When they started doing these more official special runs, the first one was kind of a, an afterthought. And then it was popular, so they came out with a couple. Then they started to do the lines, and then they started to do... Um, like different types. So there'd be a couple of horses and there'd always be one animal and then there'd be a couple of the keychains. The animals were usually smaller in number and I they still kind of follow that pattern today where they'll have a gambler's choice and a couple of like a decorator and a couple of others and then they'll have one animal. So maybe 500, 750 neighborhood. Just a really nice tri-color collie. So he was a special run from one of this era of Briarfests. Um, we got some more key, no, these are the flockies. These are the flocky sets. So I guess Briar said, oh, people like the stable mates and the keychains. Let's try flocking them. I never bought them. So uh, anyway, <laughs> they were originally $15. This is the G2 Rearing Arabian in Pinto, kind of a chestnut Pinto, um, and then the Scrambling Foal in an Appaloosa, and maybe, yeah, I thought these guys were flocked. You can't really tell, but I think they are flocked. And then this set is the G2 um, prancing, you're testing me. I think it's the Prancing Morgan in kind of a gray Gruya. And I think they are flocked. And the Jack Russell Terrier, um, like I said, I, they must not have been super popular because they only did them for maybe a year, maybe two. Um, 
And Briar really hasn't done any other flockies since the Reichsicker days. So I'm kind of surprised that they don't do them more. Um, but it is what it is. So there's a couple of flocky special runs. This box is a, was a shipping box, and there is lots of new and packaged stable mates. Uh, G2 Morgan, G2 Rearing, Arabian, uh, Running Thoroughbred and Chestnut. The backs are wrong, so I'm just guessing, but this is the G2 Warmblood and Bay, the G2 Quarter Horse and Pinto, the G2 Andalusian and Gray, the G2 uh, Pony and Pinto, G2, not Quarter Horse. Oh, this is the G1. This is the Quarter Horse Stallion G1. This is the G2 and Pinto. Uh, G1 Arabian Mare in Rome, G2 Clydesdale in Bay, G2 Mule in Appaloosa, and G1 Saddlebred in Pinto. So the collector must have loved him some stable mates and bought somebody's stock. So that's a lot of in package stable mates. We haven't come across a ton of stable mates. All regular run stable mates. Let's grab this one. This is new in box, um, regular run number 467. I always get this wrong. It says Midnight Tango, and maybe he is Midnight Tango, but I know there's a horse out there in the Briar line that's called Might Tango. Maybe he was a little older. So this is Midnight Tango. The um, little prancing mini horse in black and white pinto, super cute, regular run, and he has a little hang tag with him, which is nice. I like that extra ephemera. We got another box. This is Huckleberry Bay or Atlant the Huckleberry Bay mold, Atlantis Bay, the Briarfest 2001 special run horse. So this is the one that you got with your ticket. It's like I said, the Huckleberry Bay in a really nice metallic chestnut really striking. Um, I think they did a nice job with him. Yes, number, and he has a special run number, Atlantis Bay 5, Briarfest Celebration Horse. I'm running out of room. <laughs> and there's still more. Um, another postcard that got crinkled. Uh, another bolo tie. They made two of them for that Briarfest. One is in brown, one is in black and gray. This is one of the Stablemate porcelains. He was originally $30. This is to certify that Seabiscuit, a hand-painted glossy bisque porcelain bearing the item number 711403, presented on mold 7602, is one of 750 made exclusively for Briarfest 2003. I remember the first time they came out with these porcelain stable mates, we lost our ever-loving minds. It was the warm blood and another one that's super hard to find. I have the warm blood, but I forget what the other one was. It was the saddlebred, I think. So they did these for a couple of years where they issued the stable mates in flockies and keychains and porcelains. Um, really nice, high gloss. I didn't get this guy, but he's super pretty. And there's more. Lots more. There's more keychains. We have the uh, G2 rearing horse keychain in pink and orange swirl. I think this was, where'd that card go? I think that was from this, the groovy briar fest. Um, the, and again, if you're watching my series on decorators, we'll talk about these, the G2 quarter horse in green, lime green and white swirl keychain. Uh, also from Briar Fest, this is to certify that the mod squad, a set of four stablemate keychains, 
blah, 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 is one of 1,000 made. So this is the G1 draft horse in translucent orange. And this is, this is one of my favorites. This is the saddlebred, the G1 saddlebred in like translucent pink. How can you not love that? I loved the Mod Squad set. They're one of my favorites. I think I say that a lot. I have a lot of favorites. What can I say? I'm a collector. Okay. Um, then we have, um, this is the, yes, this is a custom, a Janet Davis custom. Um, the G1 draft horse in a really, really nice, rich blood bay, one of kind of her Hallmark colors. And another Janet Davis custom in a really pretty silvery gray, very dark um, gray black color. So two customs. I love her customs. I have several. It's one of the few customs that I collect because she does such a good job. This is, I think his name's Shadow of Blue. It's the Amber and Ashley mold. I can never remember which one's which in kind of a really dark charcoal, uh, bluish charcoal color. Again, he was originally $35 at Briarfest. No card, um, just the full by himself. I think he was issued in pretty high numbers, maybe 1,200. I, okay, then we have, now this is super nice, super rare cardboard box. No, uh, the Ceramic Performing Misty. Uh, this was issued, or this was made by Hagen Reniker for Briar. And um, so it is a Briar product. It does show as a Briar, but it was made by Hagen Reniker. Very fragile. This is low fired pottery as opposed to this high fired porcelain. I'll probably do a video on the difference someday. These guys are pretty sturdy. These guys are a lot more fragile. Um, just because of that low firing of the pottery tends to make them more susceptible to chips and breaks. So do be careful if you have any of the Hagen Reniker's low fired pottery. This is the only time Briar and Hagen Reniker intentionally collaborated. But this is Misty of Shinkatik sculpted by Maureen Love with her little um, stool, because that was her little thing. She would stand up on a stool and shake hands with her admirers. Um, super cute set, super rare. Um, I can't remember how many they made, but it wasn't a lot. And they're very hard to come by. So this is a really nice set. The original, and I can't remember the exact details, but like one set came with the, and maybe the Hagen Reniker it came with the little stool glued on but it was more susceptible to breakage so then they were issued without the stool glued on um just little details because i love the details my thing is full and i still have a horse i think okay they oh my gosh a mouse pad briar silver this is one of those rubbery mouse pads that you put under your mouse Briar sold it for $10 at Briarfest. We collectors collect lots of stuff. I'll just leave it at that. And hopefully, our last piece, and I have no room left, this is Blue Lace Agate, a stone horse from Briarfest 2001. Finally, something from 2001. Um, it is the Pony, and we've talked about this series before where they paint the horses to look like a stone, the Precious Gemstone series. So this is the pony mold in the braided mane, braided tail version, because this pony mold has a loose mane, loose tail version, um, painted to look like blue lace agate. Now I know some of these, I think we got the gold one that had the little stone that came with it. This one didn't have a stone with it, but they did occasionally no marks or um, other information on him, but he would have been, I believe, a special run. I don't think they did these guys as regular runs. So it would have been a special run of some kind, either for Briarfest or if he was starting to do Equalist by then, um, that would have been a special run for that event. Ay Dios mio, right? We got a lot of stuff in this box. 
Um, a lot of interesting stuff, probably stuff that he picked up at Briarfest when he went. Obviously not just from 2001, but from a lot of years. This is pretty much what my house looks like when I get back from Briarfest. It's a disaster. A lot of different stuff, a lot of cool stuff to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you have some questions, leave them in the comments because um, I'm sure I went really quickly to get through this. And I hope you enjoyed. Join me next week and we'll come up with another box of stuff. Thank you.